Hey folks, time flies, doesn't it? It was like yesterday when we were looking at the Shimano 11 speed as being the latest and greatest. But uh, today I got my hands on an XT 12 speed cassette. So why don't we take a closer look? As you probably know, they introduced two cassettes with their 12 speed. One that is optimized for gear steps, the 1045. The one I have here is optimized for range, 1051 2, so 510% range. All these cassettes use what's called the micro spline, the new free hub body introduced with the 12 speed. In this corner, you're going to see the product number, serial number, and that the XT is made in Japan just like before. The bigger cassette obviously required a bigger box and inside of it you're gonna see that they are going digital. You only have this little leaflet telling you to scan the QR code to get to user manual. Cardboard and shrink wrap keeps the cassette together and as you undo the flaps, here it is. 1051 XD cassette from Shimano. Microspline is the new free hub body required by the 12 speed, but from an installation standpoint, they are pretty identical, and that is because both the old and the new cassette use a lock ring that you see over here. That is another reason why they come in uh, very similarly installed on a plastic tube like that, that makes actually the installation quite easy. The lock ring on the 12 releases the 10 and 12 tooth cogs, the rest of them are on that same tube. You can see here the two biggest cogs are made out of aluminum just like the 1146 XT and if you remove this tab just pull on it here on the back you will be able to slide out the rest of the cogs. This new cassette design still has loose cogs, which I'm not too crazy about. And you can see here the 14th tooth, that's a spacer. The 16th, that's another spacer, thicker. And finally the 18th tooth. So you have five loose cogs on the XT cassette and two spacers. All the cogs are made out of steel, forged steel, for which Shimano has a really good formula, as you know. And again, the 45 and the 51 tooth are made out of aluminum. On the back of the cassette, you're going to see this is an XT, but it's easy to identify because it has two aluminum cogs. XDR has three and SLX has one. CSM 8100 12-speed made in Japan. The only other thing that's new here is the spider design. This is called the beam spider, which is hollow in the middle and it makes room for all those rivets to hold the cogs together. Also, the way it touches the spline is different. You can see you have touch points here at the beginning of the spider and at the end of it with the machined out portion right in the middle. The old spiders were a solid piece of aluminum and you usually had two spiders in a cassette. The spec sheet weight of the cassette is 470 grams. That's exactly what I have on my scale. That is comparable, if not slightly heavier, than a GX SRAM GX Eagle, which is 448. They are identical, starting with the 10 tooth cog all the way up to the last four. That is where this one has 33, 39, 45, and 51, as opposed to 32, 36. 42 and then a bigger jump here to the 50 tooth cog. The installation requires the same cassette tool as before. The lock ring has to be tightened up to 30 to 50 newton meters. I'm probably going to use 40 just like before. The other thing is if you're looking carefully here that's a little dot on that 10 tooth cog. You see a correspondent dot here on the 12 tooth cog. Well, you have to line them up when you install the cassette because this little guy, the 10 speed, actually uh, locks onto the 12 tooth cog and not onto the free hub body at all. The only other gotcha is that the spacers used between the 14, 16, 18 cogs, one is really thin, the other one is thicker as you see it over here. However, if you're just installing straight out of the box, you only have to worry about lining up the 10 and 12 tooth cogs. This holding tube and the tab is cleverly designed by Shimano to help with installation. Just lined up your biggest groove here on the splines with the tab and as you remove that one, you're going to see how your whole cassette slides onto it. 
Many of you guys know that I've been using the XTR 12 speed this year with the GX uh, cassette, that's the 1050. Really looking forward to seeing whether the 1051 from Shimano works the same or better and whether the Hyperglide Plus that's supposed to help with the shifting in the lower cogs is actually going to make a noticeable difference or not. So what do you guys think? Are you going to get the Shimano 12 speed? Do you have the micro spline to go along with it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, keep an eye on social media. And until next time, I will see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.